Like there's a joke in the Middle East. There's a guy he is selling a cucumber in the street. So a Muslim woman she walked by, and the guy he went out, like he went to encourage her to buy it. So in Arabic he said to her, "This kind, uh, which is which is which is mean, you know, don't miss it. You know, you cannot miss this. You should, which means you should buy it. But in Arabic he said, "How the cucumber might for what? Might for what have two meanings. The first one you cannot put it in. The second one it's mean you cannot miss it. <laughs> so." When when she heard that my beautiful what which means you can't put it in, she said, "No way, I'm not going to buy it then. <laughs> if I can't put it in, <laughs> forget it, bye bye." <laughs> this is how it is. She's trying to type the verse in Arabic. So what? She can read it. Are you there, Halak? Arabic, English, we speak it. No problem. Do we have an Abdul here? They speak too much of morality, but Muhammad, he have everything wrong. Well, Halak, add me, add me, so we can invite you to the room when the room is open. All right? Add me to your list. You're mine. Go ahead. Uh, no, it looks like uh, she have a problem. Do we have any Muslim here? So the, the the way the way this Islam became is shaped that gender is separated that encourage homosexuality as a solution. You see, there's there's sometimes we create problems for ourselves. We create them. And Islam created the big problem for itself. Because only men they can associate with men. So, like, okay, you are now you are 16 years old. Huh? Your testosterone is going crazy, and you want to seek sex, and you cannot even speak to girls. You cannot even say hello to them. You cannot even uh, have a normal chat with them. So what do you do? The only one he can associate with, stay late with, spend the night with, is boys like them. So in early age, they start practicing this homosexuality, and they grow with it. Islamic create the problem. Same for women. Women, they cannot speak with boys. A girl, she is 15, 16, you know. She starts exploring life around her, and there's, there's boys, but she cannot see them. This is why if you go in the Middle East, you will see, you know, uh, 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 Muslim girls, they have pictures of tons of actors and their walls in the, in the, in the bedroom. The, the family, they don't mind. As long as it's a picture, it's fine. You will find all the actors of the world, especially the handsome one, in their walls. Why? And they will be obsessed with them because they are trying to find something to 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 fill up the vacuum which they have in their life. They cannot have sexual relationship with a man. They can't have even a, a clean relationship with a the man. They can't have a normal conversation with a boy in their age. So what they do? They try to seek it in different way. Pictures in the wall, magazines. They grow crazy for a, for an artist in the TV, uh, a singer in the TV. Uh, you know, like uh, they have to fill it up with something, and this is very wrong, and that creates a homosexuality. And even when the Muslim they try to obey or obey the Islamic Sharia law. Uh, let me tell you this story. I was on the beach. This is more than a year ago. Uh, I was in an, you know, I don't like really to, to, to swim in an area very, a lot busy with, with, with the, so I take the side of the beach with not, not many people there. 
I was swimming, and suddenly Abdul he came and his wife with him, and she's wearing a burqa. What? She is going in the water wearing a burqa, and then he keep walking, walking, walking in my direction until he's so close, and then he said to me, "Please, can you can you take a distance?" I said, "Listen, I was here before you. Why you don't walk farther yourself and take a distance? Why you came to me?" Look at the hypocrite. When you came to me, like from the whole beach, just walk another two minutes, and then you will have a distance. Why you came in my spot, and then you are asking me to 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 move, and, and then look what happened. Uh, he got upset. He told his wife, "Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out!" He got out, and his wife she got out, and her her burqa is showing everything in her details. You can see her as naked, and everybody in the beach is looking. People, they are not looking at the, at, the, at the bikini no more. People, they are looking at this Muslim naked woman who is showing the details of her body by the burqa. She wear nothing under the burqa. And then when she walk, you will see the burqa is going in her, inside her bum. The burqa is going between her legs. The burqa is showing her nipples. The, the burqa is showing every details because it's a water. Your clothes will stuck on you and will show details will never show usually. And that is Islam. How are you, Nightmare? We are waiting for you, man. Where you been? Nightmare. Is your mic working? By the way, Nightmare he increases his, uh, his internet speed so he can defend Allah better. You know that, right? And we are happy for that. Nightmare, what do you think? Why the Quran did not make a punishment for lesbian and gays in equal way? Do you have a logic? What do you think? What is the reason? Why gays and lesbians do not have equal punishment in Islam? Why if a gay, he is a gay, you, you beat him with sandals, but if a woman, she is a lesbian, you jail her until she dies. You're mine. <coughs> okay, I'm just going to give uh, my opinion. Okay. Uh -huh. I think... Uh, they don't have the same punish because for uh, uh, for gay a gay can can uh, uh, spread the sexual disease. Ah, yeah. you know. But when a woman sleep with another woman, there is no you know transfer of uh, sexual disease. That's my opinion. Your mind. I mean, seriously, this is deep. That's that's very deep, my friend. My friend, the punishment of gay is less harsh from the punishment of lesbian in the Quran. You just say that gays, according to you, they spread more sexual diseases, which means it's more dangerous. But the Quran says if they are gays, you just insult them, humiliate them, and let them go if they repent. In, in the Quran, chapter 4, verse number 15, if a woman, they are lesbian, we jail them until they die. So how come you just say that the gays they spread more disease this is why it's more disgusting why the punishment is less in the Quran the penalty is a lot more less as harsh from the women so now you make yourself in trouble because the women in in the in the Quran if they are lesbian we jail them until they die this is a very harsh punishment until the until death that's it there's no there is no repentance but in the case of gays we just beat them with with sandals and if they repent, we do no harm for them. And you just said that they are the one who transfer sexual diseases. You know No, I don't think. Where did you get the idea that the women <coughs> gays they put them in the house arrest for the rest of their life? That's probably for uh, for adultery when a woman is caught with another man. Not for lesbianism. I don't think so. You have the verse. Show me the verse. Maybe you misunderstood the verse. As always, you know, nightmare. He is here to correct me. As you know, guys, this is why we appreciate him. Chapter four, verse number fifteen. What do you mean? There's nowhere it says that. What's wrong with you? 
rumor. What he says, وَالَّذِي يَأْتِينَ الْفَاحِشَ مِنْ نِسَائِكُمْ الْفَاحِشَ must be adultery. It doesn't say, doesn't specify woman with woman. You know, it doesn't say that. You're mine. Uh, nightmare, I don't know how smart you are. It says of your women, so they are the one who's doing it. The one who commit this crime is women only. Are you blind? You just read the, the, the verse. Well, so who is the one he's talking to? The women who do commit al fahisha. What is al fahisha? Women they commit women alone, there's no men there involved. Those are females, and you can go and read any interpretation you want. Of your choice and you will find that those are women who they are a homo they are lesbian go learn Arabic my friend and the punishment is we put them together we jail them until they die you know my okay this is your interpretation or your chat with the expert that's what I want to know. Do you check to the expert and tell him the agree with you? Or this is your interpretation? Your mind. Yes, all the scholars like Obama, the Clinton, uh, John McCain, all they agree. I mean, do you have an expert don't agree? Show me the expert which you know who don't agree. What's wrong with you, Nightmare? What about when we go to Al Qur to be your friend? Al Qur to be your friend, right? This is about women and women only. All right. Never mind. <laughs> no, no, no. The cut away is not my friend. I don't have specific uh, Mupestia. You know, all of them. I, I use all of them. So don't make me believe in just in one. I use cut away. Oh, oh, you want which one you want? Choose the one you like. Is that fair, guys? Choose the one you like. Which one you want? I don't care. Give me someone he don't agree that this is about women having sex together. Let me see. This is why you see the verses, the verse number 4, 15, and 4, 16, uh, you know, both are about homosexuality. The first one about lesbian, the second one is about gays. As simple as that. And you can go and you can search any uh, interpretation you want of your choice. Do your best. This is about homosexuality. All right? Where is what is the punishment? What is the punishment for those who sleep with those women if this is not about women only? Right here. It says those who do that, jail them in, in rooms. Jail them. What will what we will do to the men in this case? What where is the men? What is the man in the story? Do you see men there? Your mind? <coughs> no, I think in the in any passage, they, don't, they, they talk about uh, if they commit adultery as zina. They don't say if they uh, if a woman is in with a woman. No, they just say if they commit adultery. And what is the definition of adultery as zina in Islam in Arabic? Zina is when illegal sex between men and women. Not, I don't believe it's uh, between a woman and woman or man or man. No, Zina is. I believe in Arabic is sex between men and woman. Illegal, illegal sex. Good man. All right, let us go with you. 
So the Quran is saying, if there is if there is a woman, she commit adultery, we put her in 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 uh, uh, in her room until she die. Where is the what the where is the punishment for the guy? Correct, guys. There is something missing there. What is the punishment for the guy? Okay, okay. We took the woman, we put her in jail. All right. What what happened to the man? That's it. We just take the women to the jail. This is why the verse saying, "Those who commit of your women." The verse is speaking specifically about women. Only women. They are doing fahisha. What is the fahisha? Is something forbidden in Islam? Sexual relationship, which is forbidden. Women alone. The verse speak about only women. There's no men in the story. Your mind. Yeah, but <clears throat> I don't think so. There is no no punishment for men. You know. Where is the punishment? Uh, that's, uh, you have to uh, to see there is probably a punishment in, uh, for the men in the Quran. Not not just for men. This this verse is talking specifically about women. It does not mean there is no punishment for for men. I don't think so. Hey, don't tell me I don't think so. Show me. The verse is so clear. <laughs> don't tell me I don't think so. The verse is, is in the front of you. What what do you mean I don't I don't think so? It's about what we think and you think. The verse is saying, if any of you women commit al-fahisha, which is something forbidden to do, huh? jail them. There is only women and women to punish. There is no male. And if there is a male, then the, the Quran is missing a, 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 a big problem here because this is not fair. You jail the women who they are, they commit fornication, and where is the punishment for the male? So, regardless if it's about female having sex with females or female having sex with males, this is not this is not just this is stupid. We jail the women, but we don't jail them. We don't do anything to the man. Uh, real your mic. Um, how does this work? Can you hear me? Okay, in the down there in the room, there's it's an option that says lock mic on. So you have to lock your mic, keep talking, and then when you will release it, hit it again, you will release it. All right, your mic. Okay, so I understand now. So I've locked my mic. Now my thing is I'm a little bit confused on what what your what point you're trying to get across. You will be confused not because of me, because the Quran is a book of confusion. It's not my fault, my friend. The Quran says if there is women, they commit adultery, we jail them. So what is the punishment of the man? Have you ever heard the woman commit adultery alone? Unless it's about his spin. So what will happen to the man? Women they commit adultery, we jail them. What the man? The man will let him go. So either this is about women having sex with men and we punish the women only, we let the man go, or it's about women, they are lesbian and we jail them together. However, it doesn't matter which one, it's still it's unjust. The verse after it, chapter five, four, verse number sixteen. If two men, two men they have sex together. We spank them, we insult them, and we spank them, and we let them go. So, what kind of punishment is if a woman she commit fornication, regardless if it's a male with a female or a female with the female, we just we jail them forever until they die. But if two male they have sex together, we beat them, we we we, kill, uh, we we just beat them with sandals and we let them go. 
Guys, let us go with what Nightmare he said. Guys, when we asked Nightmare what he said, he said because gays, they spread more disease. Did he say that? Did he say that? He said gays when they have sex. This means gays are more dangerous. But the punishment for gays is a lot less. So uh, Nightmare, he said, this is about women having sex with a man. Okay, thank you. So women having sex with a man, we jail them until they die. But men having sex with a man, we beat them with sandals and let, go, let them go. <laughs> this is madness. That means sex with the man, man with man, is less bad in Islam from women having sex with a with with man. Okay, Riel, I, I did not take the mic from you. you. You left the mic. Take the mic. Go ahead. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allah, 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 and your understanding of the religion of Al Islam is a little bit crooked and a little bit tampered. First of all, uh -huh. in order for you to talk about something, knowledge precedes speech and action. So uh -huh. you must have complete knowledge of the affair. I don't know what scholar you have studied under. I don't know where you get your information, if you get it from Google or what. But Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, one of the one of the great companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh -huh. may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, mm -hmm. said that um, the punishment for the homosexual in Islam is to be carried out by the Muslim ruler and the uh, government or the the court system. In a Muslim country, so any old Tom, Dick, or Harry who's committing zina with a, a different guy, we don't declare anything upon them without witnesses or without proof. This is a very, very, very serious affair. Now, if the witnesses and the proof has been established upon the dis the the, the dis disgusting, despicable individual. The likes of Ibn Abbas hold the opinion that you take them to the highest building, the highest building in the town. It no problem, no problem. The highest building in Mecca, my friend, was not even two meter high. That would be very funny and very stupid. What the highest building? If I can jump from the top of it, even for fun. This is number one. Number two. I'm showing you Quran and you are giving me a speech about scholars. Quran says that chapter 4 verse number 16 says that if there's two men they committed this kind of sin you just hurt them and let them go. So which one you take more the Quran or you take the hadith of Ibn Abbas who is more serious for you Ibn Abbas now is your prophet Ibn Abbas now is your God Allah the Quran says that. Let me show you what the Quran says. And this is the interpretation of a Jalalain. Who? A Jalalain. Take the mic and read for me. And this is, here we go. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. A Jalalain says, two homosexuals, we have sex together. What we do, we beat them with sandals. And we insult them. And if they repent, we let them go. So why the Quran says we just do that, but Ibn Abbas, as you said, he said we take them to the highest building, which is funny, because there is no highest building in Mecca, and we throw them from the top. You're my. Um, I'm I'm sorry to say that I feel as though that you have a weak understanding of of the uh, of the tafsir. And the understanding of the Quran, and you just pull from any person who you find online. The Abdul Jalalain is any person. The scholar of Islam Jalalain is any person for you. Are you sure? I thought Jalalain is a very well respected scholar. So are you saying Jalalain is a stupid idiot who does not know what he's talking about? Okay, name the scholar you agree with. 
Name the scholar who can explain this verse for me. If you don't like a Jalalain, you might. Ibn Kathir Rahmanullah one of the students of Al Al Al. Hold on. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Why you want to waste our time? Ibn Kathir, where is Ibn Kathir? Did he say Ibn Kathir? Huh? Okay, take the mic and tell me Ibn Kathir. I'm going to find you the link and we will read together from Ibn Kathir. And I will make you read for us. Go ahead. What did Ibn Kathir say about this verse? Your mic. I take this as a joke. I feel as though you take this as a joke. And, you know, debating is not for the center. <laughs> and I, I'm not going to say, here and waste my time with you. I thought you were a little bit more mature than that. And that you. You are trying to find an excuse to run. You are the one who mentioned Ibn Kathir. We show you Ibn Kathir. Why you are why you want to run away? Who is the mature here? You said debate is not from the Sunnah. So guys, it's not Islam to debate. So why you are here then? You are a coward. You are trying to run. You do not know even how to read the Quran. Do you know how to read Quran? Do you know how to read the Quran? You don't know. If I ask you right now to read the verse for me in Arabic, do you know how to read it? You do not know. Read it for me. I challenge you. You claim that you are a Muslim. You are a you, you are a fake Muslim. You are made in China. Bismillah, But you do not know how to read. You know what we are saying. Do you speak Arabic? Do you speak Arabic, you might. Alhamdulillah, I'm bringing the verse. All right, so this is the verse. Oh, wait, is that it? Hold on. I will see the Nahim and Shaitan 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 and Tawaba Rahima, and that means, uh, and from them, yeah, what the Godfather said the verse, what, what, what else do you want, man? Why are you, why are you, what's up with you, man? Hey, Abdul, you are not reading Arabic. The verse doesn't say what you're saying. You are just reading letters which resemble Arabic, so you can sound like reading Arabic. You do not know how to read it. I never heard of an Arabic like this before. What do you mean? Wallah, the Yatin and Fahisha. Minni say, confess that she do Alay Munna or Bahami confess and Shahidu. Fam Siku who left it be you, Hatta Yetta for what it was for who will mold. What I don't know what kind of Arabic you are reading. This is what the Muslim do. They give them books, guys. They resemble the Arabic in their own language Urdu, Urdu, Persian, Persian, but they are not reading really Arabic. This is in Do you know what the word means? Okay, let me ask you a question. What the word amsikuhunna mean? Amsikuhunna, you might. Attakullah, ya Abdullah. Attakullah, fear the day of standing. Don't worry, the Quran promised the Christian they would go to heaven. I can show you the verse. Don't change the topic. What the word amsikuhunna mean in the same verse? You might. Miran. Uh, record your machine. They don't know what you are reading. They have no idea what they say. And they want to give you a speech about what is wrong, what's right. And when you show them a scholar, they say to you, Oh, you get it wrong. You are caught in anyone. Hey, a Jalalain is anyone? A Jalalain became anyone? Since when? That's new. Uh, 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 Jesus, you know, I told you don't come with this name. You are insulting our Lord, right? First of all, the one who have that disease is your is your prophet. I can show you your prophet. He used to fill in the floor, and he go in coma and he shake. Do you want to show you? So the disease you are mentioning in the text is your prophet is infected with it, and he claimed that he was bewitched. What tongues? Your prophet is speaking tongues? What tongues? He used to faint. He faint in the floor. Always. And he do crazy things he's not aware of. And then the hadith says the prophet was bewitched. Why? Because somebody took some hair from his uh, bum. 
Have you ever heard of somebody is controlled by hair from his bum? And a Jewish guy is controlling your prophet, and you, you are talking about possessed. Your prophet was possessed. Thank you very much, guys. Did he say that? Do you, do you see what this guy was saying? What he said? His prophet was possessed. Thank you very much. What speaking in tongues, which means speaking in languages. And your prophet, he tried to speak in tongues. This is why when they ask him, what does that mean? They say, only Allah knows. <laughs> How many verses in the Quran you must have do not know what it means because your prophet trying to speak in tongues and Mr. Farhad don't speak about master your prophet was born four years after his, his father death who is the master have you ever heard of somebody he is born four years after his father death and you are talking about master Amina I can show you right now Amina bin Tuwahab, Muhammad, the father, the father of uh, the, the Abdullah, supposedly the father, he slept with many women in the same day, and they offered themselves. And Amina is one of the one who offered herself for sex. He did not live with her, and she is not his wife. It's a lie. And then after four years, she claimed that this is the guy who is the one who made her pregnant. And this is why you Muslims believe now that a Muslim woman she can be pregnant up to ten years. Mr. Real, that's your your prayer is false because the Quran says Allah guide not the one who he mislead. So don't be stupid. Isn't it your God Allah? He says that the Allah he is the one who mislead and nobody can guide the one he mislead. That's why I have a book, it's called The Deception of Allah. Put your hand up. Abdul, you are just calling names. You are welcome to debate me and prove me wrong, but you are just calling names. And you are saying things which is not even Islamic. You are not a Muslim. You are a fake Muslim. Didn't you God? He says that Allah, he, you know, he, even he said to Muhammad, you cannot guide them for Allah, he mislead them. Is that correct? Is that correct? Or am I making things up? So why you are saying, may Allah guide you all? It's a false, uh, false statement. Very false. I know I never saw a Muslim, a Muslim, especially those who don't speak Arabic. They know even what they are talking about. They are copy paste like a recording machine. But they do do they knew what they are saying? No, they don't. Put your uh, hand up, uh, real. Let us let us see how good you are. Don't run. Be a man. Be brave. When we when we put you in the corner, you run away. Nightmare. You might. Okay. You say that there is no punishment for men, and at the same time you put uh, jalalin. It says uh, there is a punishment for material homosexual. And you say there is no punishment for me. You just uh, you, 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 you. What what is the punishment? Read for us. What is the punishment? Guys, there is a punishment. What is the punishment? Read it. The punishment, you beat them with sandals and if they repent, you let them go. You insult them, you humiliate them, and you beat them with sandals, you spank their ass, their bum, and they repent, you let them go. Read it. Here we go. Who am I? Yeah, I saw that. Is it the thing which said, "Oh, uh, this is what this, I say, what that says, what this." Because you don't just come and you go home. Oh, oh. You say there is no. You see what uh, you you shoot your seven foot. That's what you did. Beating them with sandals and, is a punishment. And the other is a homosexual act. Is I did shoot myself with the foot. Beat them with sandals is a punishment. Are you serious? 
So if a woman she commit adultery, she have sex according to you with the man, we jail them until they die. Even though she is a woman, have sex with the man as you claim. But if two guys have been sex, we just beat them with sandals, and you say this is a punishment. That's amazing. Go ahead. Okay. Well, this is they was uh, it was uh, abrogated. You know, this is a letter it was abrogated. Both of them, they are last hundred. Guys, did he say abrogated? Did he say that? Did you hear him? Did you hear it? Did he, okay, what happened? It's the same crime, same punishment. Why? What's wrong with this guy? He found himself stupid. What kind of God? He say if there is two gays, they do etc. You know, beat them with sandals. And if there is two women, a man having sex, we jail them until they die. And then he abrogated. What's wrong? He found that his the punishment is stupid. He is connecting him, correcting himself. <laughs> this is a weird God. You see, guys, we are talking about the same time, the same prophet, the same God, the same book. Not someone a prophet came 2,000 years after to say what was at that time is not for, for this time. You know, it's the same guy. So why it was okay to beat them with sandals for gays? And no, this verse is not abrogated. Never. The women won. If it's abrogated by 100 lashes, as you claim, right? And still there is no punishment for women, married women, committing a, adultery in Islam, in the Quran. Allah forgot. Not even one single punishment in the Quran for a married woman in the Quran. The verse you are talking about, it's a 